Hey, what's going on, guys? We are back on Farming Simulator. We've got a new series we're starting. It's Iowa Plains. We're going to get our gate open. We're going to start our truck up. And let's go check out what we've got over here. Probably just could have went down to the next gate, which would have been fine, but... See here, we got nothing in there. Let's open up these doors and see what we've got hiding in here. Start opening up our equipment there. We'll come back to that here in a second. Let's go around and open some gates up and see what we have. Looks like we got our combine in that door. I'm assuming that's some sort of crop storage. So, we're gonna come over this way. We got more stuff across the street here. That's a cow pasture, I'm assuming, right? Yeah, that's a cow pasture. Uh, let's see if there's anything in here. Doesn't look like there's anything in there, so that's alright. But we got some hay stuff over here. What is this one here? This is a pig sty. Cool. Okay, we'll have to jump off into that sometime, I guess. So it says we own field 10. Let's see what we've got in 10. Is it ready? Looks like we got field 10 ready to harvest over here. So, I guess with that being said, I guess we can park the truck and go jump into the combine. So we'll just go park our truck here. And we will jump into this combine and get it started up. And then we'll pull it out. So it looks like we got a, our header parked over here behind this building. Which I kind of figured that's where it would be since it wasn't inside the building. So we'll just uh, pull this trailer on out. Unhook from the trailer. Actually, we may have to pull that out with this. Pull it over toward the fields. We'll do that, actually. Just in case. Because I don't know if we could ever get it through the gate. So we want a straw swath so we can uh, make some bells out of that. And we got a chicken coop right here. Looks like we got whatever's on that field as well, and I'm already wrecking. So, I think we'll start down here. Seems like a good idea to me. We'll just uh, come down here to the other end of my field. And I think we'll get a... Uh, We'll get our worker started on this while we go get the uh, equipment trailer. We'll, we'll call our worker. We'll put Brittany in the combine, which would be my wife. <laughs> so we're just going to park randomly on some guy's field over here. Probably shouldn't do this. But we're going to... And then we'll get Brittany started over here harvesting this field. So we're just going to set her to harvesting. Make sure our swath is working and then we'll see what we've got here. This looks like 
Mm, our bellers over here. We need to find some sort of trailer. I'm assuming that would be what we have right here. So we'll start up this John Deere here and we'll hook up to this trailer. until we can do better. This will have to do. So we'll bring this on over here to the uh, harvester. Bring it over here to Brittany while she's harvesting this field. And we'll just pay attention to when she needs uh, some help there. I've went ahead and turned our crop destruction off. And we will just uh, park this here and shut it off. And then we will fire up this old tractor here. And then we will hook up to this beller. Not my favorite beller in the world, but it'll do. And uh, we will drive this on over to uh, field 10. We'll drive it down through the other farm. That way we'll have it ready so we can start uh, belling as Brittany's uh, harvesting over here. I'm going to try to give her a little lead way because that's not a very big combine harvester. So we're off to a pretty good start for episode one here of Iowa Plains. I have not played this map yet. This is my uh, first time. I'm going to turn on automatic drop for the bales. That way I don't have to do it myself. And then we're going to lower the pickup and uh, get this beller turned on here. And just going to start coming down the row where Brittany har was harvesting and we're going to start belling. So I mean in a way it works out. Just kind of do some teamwork here. And I'm going to creep it because we're getting close to full here so it can empty the bell and we don't mess up. I'm going to do 125s. I probably should have made them a lot bigger, but I'm going to do 125s. Just because... So while Brittany's running that, we're just going to be running this, which we need to back up. We've done messed up a little. And then we should, she should tell us when she's getting filled up there so we can get the trailer and come back and empty her out. And then I guess we'll just take it all to grain storage because as of right now we have less than a hundred thousand and I'm not sure what we should do we should probably fill up the chickens I don't think we're quite ready for that though Brittany has an 80 percent grain take there so we'll need to get her emptied out here in just a minute Looks like she's skipping some end rows. So, that's pretty much how we're going to roll with things. We're going to let her harvest. We're going to bail. 
until she's filled up and then we're gonna pull off and empty her out it's uh, we're off to a pretty good start here we've got a few bells going on looks like she's making good progress down there shit we wouldn't even pay attention that time that's my fault <laughs> um, kinda need my beller back but I'd... can I move that bell or is it too heavy for me to move too heavy okay Uh, looks like Brittany has filled up there, so we will start this tractor up and get over there to empty her out. Don't worry guys, my crop destruction is turned off. So I'm just going to pull up next to her and get her emptied out where she can get going. Definitely off to the races with this episode so as soon as she's emptied out she should take off and she did so we're gonna move this old tractor back out of the way here And then we'll just shut it down right here and we're going to jump back in our bell and tractor. And we're just going to get back to work. So we just got to make sure we're paying attention to when we're filled up this time because we done messed that up. And we should be dropping a bell any second. There we go. So, we're going to knock this field out with Miss Brittany here. As she's driving our combine, we're going to work with her to get it all bailed up. Naturally, she should be in better shape than we are because... I have to stop to empty the beller. And then we're doing okay. Get up there, Anne. Sorry, guys. My uh, two year old is being whiny again today. Get on the bed, honey. There's your baba. So we got another bell dropped out there. I'm a baba. I'm your baba. There. There's baba. Uh. But now you threw it in the floor. Uh. I'll get it. Hang on. Uh. Well, maybe you shouldn't throw it in the floor if you want a baba. Here. Sorry about that, guys. I do have a two-year-old to take care of. So, with that being said, we're going to keep following in behind Brittany here, making some bells. Until we're in a little bit of a better spot. I really want to keep everything that we harvest right now maybe keep the bells put them in a hay storage but these are wheat bells so i'm not sure how that works um i like doing everything in real time i don't really do much time lapse stuff i'm just more of a realism person i don't know why i'm like that i just prefer to show everything in real time So, 
We're just going to keep following in behind Miss Brittany here as she's running our combine. She should let us know when she needs emptied out again. And then we're going to drop us a bell right next to her here. So that bell is dropped. So we're going to get to rolling. Start making us another bell here. It's just kind of the way we're going to do things. We should have quite a few bells doing it with 125s. I probably should have went bigger. But I do believe we're just going to leave it on 125s. And then we'll just keep following in behind Miss Brittany. Once we're done with this, uh, we'll get the equipment moved back. Uh, and then we may take a look on the uh, used market and see what we can afford. See if we got anything they're offering that we may need. It says Brittany has an 80% grain tank. We're going to look at the market. Yeah, there's nothing that we really need right now. So we're just going to keep on rolling forward here. She's getting turned around and we're dropping a bell. How many bells do you think we have so far? I haven't even counted. I probably should have. There's quite a few bells out here. definitely definitely not like me to actually be good at a series but I'm hoping this is one of our better series guys I'm feeling confident Miss Brittany has a full grain tank so we're gonna drop a bell and we're gonna jump back in the tractor here start it up and we're gonna go get her emptied out Maybe sometime soon we'll be able to afford uh, better equipment, but as we're just getting started out, we're losing quite a bit of money here. But we definitely wouldn't be able to do this without Brittany's help running that harvester over there for us. Looking like she's gonna fill up our our trailer, so we should probably go empty this out. That way we have it handy. So we're just gonna rotate it on down, and we're gonna head over here to the uh, silo. This, this tractor does feel way underpowered for this job, even with this trailer, but it should do just fine. So we're just going to head down into the farm here and around. And we're going to save this for now. And then we're going to start offloading. So what we do have. And we're going to head on back and get back, jump back in on our bells. I 
we'll just uh, park this tractor here and follow back in behind there with our beller. Apparently there was a road sign right there. I don't know how that got there. But we're definitely getting a lot of bales here. Like, this is a lot of bales. And, you know, we're in August. August is our starting point here. We're not playing with the uh, seasonal growth turned on. I don't enjoy doing seasons. I never even liked it when we was playing FS19. But. Hopefully. We can make some money at least off of the bells. I think I'm going to keep the wheat. Maybe. I'm not sure just yet. We'll see uh, what we're looking like money-wise. We may try to sell off sometime toward the end of the year if we have enough money to hold off. I'm not really sure how that's going to work. We'll just have to uh, see how it goes between now and when we come into some kind of equipment we need. We can't be broke. So we may have to, um, within the next couple of episodes, we may have to get in and help uh, one of our neighbors. To get us some extra cash going. We don't know for sure though. If we're going to have to. We'll see. Uh, how it's looking. But. As of right now. We're, do we're holding pretty steady on some cash. So I'm feeling pretty confident. That we may not have to do any work. For somebody else. We may. It just depends uh, how much we need Brittany's help up there while she's running that. She's doing really well though. She's uh, getting a lot of work put in for us. She's almost uh, got filled up again there. She's got 80% full. While she's getting turned around, we're dropping a bell and we're going to keep following in close behind her. We may actually catch up to Brittany and be right on her heels. We kind of don't want to be running too close to her. But... So kind of okay if we do up until the time when she fills up. Which she gets a little bit of a chance to uh, pull some weight on us here while we're turning around for the next line. That gives her a little bit of time to push ahead of us. But we're on the same line that she's on and we're having to stop now to drop a bell. So, I mean, we've made some great progress. We've caught up behind our combine there that Miss Brittany's driving. It looks like she is full. So we're going to need to grab this other tractor here. 
We can get over here underneath her where she can start filling us up and emptying her combine. And so she can get back to moving while we're moving this out of the way. We're trying to run all of this in real time. You know, it's not perfect and I'm really trying here. But it would appear my wife is a better combine operator than I am because I can't even drive that combine. <laughs> so I got to give her some credit. She's doing great. She's doing good at communicating with us when she needs emptied out. And we're still going to jump in and just kind of keep following behind her here. I don't really know what we should put back in this field after harvesting. I haven't really uh, made my mind up there. I think while we're waiting on that to run, we will uh, take a look here because we also own field 7 and 11. And it looks like 11 is, I want to say it's grass. And that's growing. We need to check on our crop growth and make sure it's not on paused, which it's not. So we should be fine. We was pretty much doing that so we could give Miss Brittany a chance to uh, pull a little bit ahead of us again. But as she's turning around, we're going to drop us another bell. Maybe, just maybe, she can get that thing turned around and get moving ahead of us again. Cause I mean we're bailing at 11 miles an hour so we're closing in on her fairly quickly maybe we won't get hit by a car while we're turning around here see this tractor's hanging out all by its lonesome this one's doing pretty good over here the 7 R is holding pretty strong so this is a 7810 and this is a 62030 R this should be a 6 R It's a beautiful tractor. It's like our yield's pretty yellowish, orangish on the map there. But, we're just uh, hanging out, giving her a chance to uh, get ahead of us there just a little bit. Can't really complain. She's running that combine strong and great for us. And then I think what we're gonna have to do is uh we're gonna bail, that's for sure. But when we get down to that last row, if there's not going to be enough to uh, fill up this uh, 
thing anymore, then I'm just going to stop. Like, I'm not going to leave anything in it for the next time. We may be using this in the future for some hay bales, and we definitely wouldn't want anything in it. I really should have counted how many bells we've made because we've made a lot of bells here. Brittany's back 80% full, she said. She radioed, radioed in to us there. So she'll be ready for us again with the trailer real soon. Should be getting really close. We're gonna try to get one more bell in before she fills up. Alright. So she should be coming to a stop any second. she sticks the pipe out we can just get up under there and she's ready for us and she's loading us up so with that being said we're gonna sit here let her empty out so she can get back moving and uh, most likely we'll have to take this back over to the silo and make another drop off because she fills up most of this trailer within two times around so it's 96 percent she's gonna get back moving and we are gonna push back over here to the farm and uh, we're gonna empty this trailer out and then we're going to jump back on Bella once we get back. What's wrong, sweetheart? You're okay. If you want Baba, get up there, baby, and drink your Baba. So, here we are. We're at the silo. We're going to empty this out. We've had a pretty good harvest here so far. We've gotten two trailer full, you know, two pretty much full trailers off of that. With what Brittany's harvesting up. I really gotta start watching for traffic. <laughs> So, Brittany's got a little ways ahead of us there. What time we was gone to empty out that trailer. JJ's on in your room, baby. So we're just going to start, keep on following behind here like we was before, making our bells. Brittany's doing good. She's got maybe one more pass after that one to make. And then we should be uh, finished with this field. So I'm very proud of that. We've done real well this episode as far as our yield according to our map 
isn't very strong, but it's all right. We're definitely, definitely doing very well as far as what we've harvested. Harvest yield could always be better, but we've done good as far as bales too here. And I can't complain. We've made a shit ton of hay bales. Well, wheat bells is what they actually are, but we'll see what we can do off of that last line over there, and if I don't think it's going to be enough to fill up this, I'm not going to do it. We'll just have to see as we get going here what we're gonna need. Cause she should be finished and filled up with that last little run there. And we'll see, cause we may be able to at least get one bell, one more bell off of that last row. Really, it all just depends what we can do with this. We're spitting out quite a few bells a row here. Ourselves. But we're definitely not going to get a whole bell off of this. We may actually get another bell off of what we've done here. Would be great if we did. Oh, we did. Sweet. So we're going to drop that bell. And we're going to come through and try to get one more. Before we stop and turn this off. So we're going to get one last bell. And that's where we're going to stop with the bell. And... And then we're just going to let Miss Brittany keep going there. I don't know. What are the odds we can get one more row? I think we'll try it. We'll get one more bell, maybe, if we're lucky. I'm trying to push my luck here because like I said I didn't want to leave anything in the beller so we'll get one more that's where I'm gonna call it and we did so great I'm gonna drop that bell off shut the beller off and we're gonna ease this back to the farm and I think it said Brittany had an has got a full grain tank so she radioed to us we're gonna just uh, hop up underneath her there empty her out she can empty out while we uh, take this back over to the farm This one we just got to ease our way back across the street with over here. It goes with our belling equipment. I don't know exactly where I want to park this, but... I'm definitely not doing any good at backing it up 
back into the shed here. And we know it goes right in here. This is where we took it out of. So this is where I would love to put it back. So we're going to detach from that. And then we're going to hook up to this bell trailer. And get hooked up to that. And ease our way back over there to our bells, and we're going to start cleaning some bells up. So, with that being said, we've done real good as far as potential here time wise we're doing pretty bad I will say uh, so here's what I'm gonna do guys episode 2 we're gonna start cleaning up these bells and uh, we will go from there I'm going to come back and clean up what Miss Brittany missed here because she probably done it for a reason, I'm sure. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. I'm out.